tasting room at Daggerad right now. Uh, and basically my job in the brewery is to do everything that needs to be done. I, uh, I brew, I bottle, I do accounting and bookkeeping and uh, yeah, just every every little thing. I, uh, I clean dirty stuff and I uh, get down on my hands and knees and scrub whenever it's needed. Well, I, uh, I have a lot of friends who live in Belgium. I've been visiting them for years now and uh, fell in love with the beer there. You know, I, uh, it's, um, it's just something different from what you can get here and oftentimes the imported stuff isn't super fresh by the time we get it. So I, uh, I wanted to have that, uh, you know, sort of at normal local prices in, uh, uh, made locally and fresh. And, uh, you know, I'm obsessed with the style. It, uh, it's been a bit harder to sell than a lot of other uh, styles of beer would have been, than uh, harder to sell than IPA and Pale Ale, because everybody here knows what IPA and Pale Ale is, and they're already into it. So we had to, to kind of, like, create our own market as we were going, but uh, it's been super rewarding. I mean, it's, uh, it's a big success now. It was a little bit touch and go in the first year, but, uh, you know, we're doing okay now. Bernabarian, uh, uh, well, Bernabarian is a silly word I made up. I, I, uh, I couldn't find a demo name for, uh, for Burnaby, but uh, yeah, so it's a name I made up for, for someone or something from Burnaby. Uh, it's the one beer that we have that really isn't made after a style. Uh, it was made after something I wanted. I wanted to have a lighter, kind of easier drinking beer, that, but still had full flavor and still really tasted like a Belgian beer, but wasn't like a, a massive, you know, seven or eight or nine percent beer like a lot of Belgian beers can be. Uh, so anyway, it's a uh, uh, smaller beer, but still has a, has a really decent full mouthfeel. We brewed it with oats to help kind of boost the body. And uh, it's got some coriander in it, which, uh, you know, helps uh, to add kind of a spicy mystery to it. Uh, uh, and uh, brewed with our, our house yeast as well. So it's just a, a super fresh, well, easy drinking beer. One style of beer, I don't know, maybe maybe pale ale. I mean, everybody goes, you know, for pale ale, they go into the hops and, you know, get crazy with IPA and just go overboard. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, you just want something that's not going to be overwhelming. It's just like, it's a, just a really nice drinking beer. So a pale ale, you know, my, uh, my local favorites would be, you know, uh, 33 Acres of Ocean from 33 Acres, uh, Talisman Pale Ale from Strange Fellows. Like they're, they're both absolutely stunners of pale ales. Well, we have a, a new batch uh, that's going to be releasing tomorrow called uh, Lake City Farmhouse. Uh, if you don't know this area of Burnaby, which is basically a big industrial park with a huge, huge oil tank farm in the middle of it, it's called Lake City. Uh, so anyway, Lake City Farmhouse Ale is our uh, our farmhouse uh, style beer. Uh, it, uh, It'll be a really nice, uh, really nice summer saison.